Now, your news on the go. Tonight, you'll have your chance to weigh in on Micron's plan to invest up to $100 billion in central New York. Hopefully, it's looking better than that radar. Onondaga County announcing the first town hall of a series. The first session will be held at Clay Town Hall at 6 o'clock this evening. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon says it's critical the county engage directly with the community and share exactly what this investment means. President Biden will come to Syracuse Thursday to talk about the investment. Onondaga County Sheriff's deputies are now naming the woman who died in a house fire Saturday afternoon. Around 1.15, deputies and firefighters from multiple agencies responded to Howlett Hill Road in the town of Onondaga. They found the body of 69-year-old Anne Prashaw on the first floor of the building. Detectives believe the fire started in the living room. They're still looking into what started it. Gas prices in central New York are remaining stable to start our work week. According to AAA, the average for a gallon of regular in Syracuse is $3.59. That's a penny less than what it was last Monday morning and about 20 cents cheaper than this time last month. Gas prices have been going up across the country. The national average right now, $3.80. If you're looking to vote absentee in the upcoming election, time is running out to apply. Applications need to be in the mail today. If you're applying by fax or online, you have until midnight. You can apply in person for an absentee ballot at the Board of Elections until 5 p.m. Monday, November 7th. Early voting starts October 29th. Election day is November 8th. We have a traffic alert for drivers in the Tip Hill area today. A road reconstruction project is set to begin on Avery Avenue. Lanes will be reduced while crews do milling and paving from 7 in the morning till 5 o'clock at night daily. If you use that route, give yourself some extra time. After a disappointing loss to Clemson this weekend, a kickoff time has been set for Saturday's game against Notre Dame. It's at the Dome. SU Athletics tweeting the game will be at noon, and it will be right here on News Channel 9. The university is hoping for its second straight sellout. A week ago, a sold-out crowd witnessed the Orange defeat North Carolina State. Well, it was some tough, tough news. Tough weekend for some sports fans here. The World Series set. Not the news Yankee fans were hoping for. Late last night, the Yankees lost to the Houston Astros 6-5. to The Astros sweeping the Yankees in the four-game American League Championship Series. In the National League, the Philadelphia Phillies are heading to the World Series for the first time since 2009. Game one of the Fall Classic is Friday night.